Good morning, everyone. Hi, my name is V Capaldi, and I wanted to record a video, and I just thought now is probably the best time to share my top tools for living your best life. Now, just to give you some sort of context as to why what I say would even matter, I should probably share a little bit about who I am. <clears throat> I'm the founder of the brand Paleo Boss Lady, which is an award-winning brand that serves the community by sharing diet and lifestyle choices. Choices that I've used to biohack my way to manage multiple sclerosis, Epstein-Barr, Hashimoto's, and potentially Lyme disease. What does that mean? That means that 10 years ago, I had no use of both of my hands, no feeling on the left side of my body. I couldn't turn my head left, right, or look up or down. I had trouble swallowing. I had trouble using the ladies' room. I had full-time help and people living with me. My life was unmanageable. I ran out of money. Yep taking medications, listening to Western medicine, and doing everything the doctors told me as a type A overachiever until I ultimately had spent my entire life savings. Today, I am potentially one of the most healed and most in the world using only diet and lifestyle choices. I manage most of my symptoms from MS and I've reversed almost all of them. Do I still have all these diseases? Yes. Do they still live inside me? Yes, but I manage them exclusively by myself without any Western medicine interventions. I used to take over 14 drugs and my out-of-pocket healthcare costs were over $40,000. And today, other than insurance premiums and the cost to have some tests, saliva, fecal studies, blood work, and urine. I also am a five-star rated chef and teach cooking classes all over the world. I'm the founder of the award-winning tour, Taking It to the Streets, where I lived in homes in America for anyone that invited me who was struggling mentally or physically. And the last year that I toured, I lived in a converted van in your driveway. So I actually learned by living and serving the community. I lived in service, sharing my free and accessible healthcare. I'm a TEDx speaker and I speak in front of about 100,000 people a year. I also am on uh, One Life Radio, which is an iHeart station as a regular every month. I write a feature for Paleo Magazine, sharing all the places you can eat all over America that are paleo. So as you can see, I am also adjunct faculty at Antioch University teaching online classes, continuing education classes. So there is so much that goes on in my life. And how do you go from not being able to use your hands and being legally disabled to all of those things that I listed? And you know what? I do it all by myself. So because of that, and because we're in sort of weird, strange times, I thought I should probably share my top 10. So this way you have them. This free and accessible stuff is, whoop, I, I compacted it down. And if you need further information, you can go to my website, paleobosslady.com, type up, you know, biohacking, supplements, whatever, and stuff will come and it'll help sort of help you navigate some blogs and some information, maybe videos or whatever I've done regarding those topics. You can dive in just a little deeper. But for right now, this little free video I thought would just help you to see and understand and maybe start thinking about your own life and if any of these things you think would help you. So I, I wrote it down so that's why I'm looking down. The first thing is the narrative. What do I mean by the narrative? It's the conversation going on here. You know when I first started touring America I really believed because the last piece to my miracle puzzle was food meaning that was I had plugged in all the 10 things we're gonna talk about. And the last piece I plugged in with food was food. So I really believed when I toured that that's what most people were missing. And that was gonna be the key to their wellness, their miracle journey, or whatever it was that they were looking to achieve. And what I, I quickly learned within six months that there were a lot of people that were spot on with their food. Eating so clean, some of them even growing their own food and having no positive outcomes. And yet there were people who were not doing anything in regards to their food and having great positive outcomes. So it made me pause. And it made me think like, what, what is my thinking wrong? Like, what is the disconnect? And the disconnect was, is that I discounted the thing that I worked the hardest on, which is the narrative. Not only through psychotherapy, but I put myself back in college when I was at my most disabled and I could only use my voice to activate the computer and I couldn't drive. And I got a master, I got a, a bachelor's in psychology where I specialized in narrative therapy. And then I got a master's in uh, psychology, specializing in community psychology and also culture. So the reality of what I learned is, is that 
what I studied the most was what was really my number one asset in my healing miracle journey. And what I ended up sharing and, and giving people tools of empowerment had less to do with food and more to do with the narrative. So my number one thing is narrative. Number two is community. I have never walked alone. My brand Paleo Boss Lady was founded on my need for community. The fact that it's become a brand and, and a big part of my identity is not why it was started. So community is so important, so important. Number three is mother nature especially in the form of plants. And this is outside of food. I'm talking about going outside and putting your feet in the dirt, grounding, getting all the earth's minerals, going to the beach, being outside, climbing mountains, breathing fresh air, plants like cannabis. We all know CBD and marijuana, huge in my journey. Number four is movement, conscious movement, making effort every day to move your body with consciousness. So I move my body in the form of yoga and self myofascial release, which is ball rolling. And these are huge, powerful tools in my wellness program. Food. You know, I might eat paleo and follow the walls protocol. I'm not here to tell you how to eat. You have to figure that out for yourself. But to just eat a standard American diet and to live under the notion that if I eat something and it gives me heartburn, I'm going to take a medicine to ignore the heartburn is what needs to stop. If you eat something and it gives you heartburn, why don't you honor your body and not eat that anymore? That's healthcare. The system that we live in that has commercials and has medication that says, oh, you get heartburn here, take a drug, the heartburn will go away, is not a healing system. There's nothing healing about that. Matter of fact, that's a masking healthcare. And that's a symptom management healthcare. It has nothing to do with root cause. Meditation, talk about free and accessible. And long gone are the days of thinking, mm, you have to, you know, be like this. You have to sit cross-legged. Like, that's just not meditation. You can meditate while you're in traffic. You can meditate walking. You can meditate pretty much anywhere. And there is, like, on demand. You can meditate counting. You can meditate being guided. Meditation. Biohacking. What is biohacking? Biohacking is literally taking your body and hacking it for biological wellness. So what does that mean? I'll give you an example. If you're just eating a standard American diet and you're like, hey, I want to figure out what foods my body likes and what foods my body doesn't beyond the indigestion that I get from time to time. So I want to biohack for food. So you would do what we call an elimination diet. And there's protocols that you can, find, you can Google and find out about. But in the elimination diet, you remove you know, processed foods, refined sugars, gluten, great, all kinds of things from your diet for about a 90-day period. And then you do an introduction. And in that introduction period, if your body responds in a negative way, then you know, well, that's probably not for me. Biohacking. So I tried all different eating protocols before I stumbled upon paleo being my best biohacked version of myself. And even not paleo, it's even one step further being the walls protocol. But this has been a journey for decades. I'm not saying that a biohacking journey is decades. I'm just sharing with you that it took me that long to figure it out. I never gave up. Um, this is why I write a list so I don't go off topic. Biohacking. Okay, the next thing is supplements. Now, when I first started not doing the standard American diet and using food as medicine, my supplements weren't as big as they are now because my body was getting nutrients it hadn't had in a long time. So after that, and working with a naturopath, we test. And the nutrients I take and the supplement, not the nutrients, the supplements I take are based on working with my healthcare team. Now, there are some supplements that we all should probably just consider taking. You know, for inflammation, if a lot of us have taken steroids, that's to decrease inflammation. Turmeric is a spice. It also is a supplement that helps. Most of us are lacking in vitamin D. I work with a naturopath because I take super high doses of vitamin D. A multivitamin is probably not going to be harmful to any of us. Almost every thought leader and change maker says magnesium is super important, a probiotic for gut health important. You know, these are things, you know, an omega-3 for heart. So, there, you know, supplements are a big part in my wellness program. The next thing is collagen. People are like, collagen? Yes, collagen, grass-fed collagen. It helps with gut health, and it also helps, you know, we're always using this we're using our phones, we're using our bodies in these hunched over. Collagen helps with all of that. Grass-fed collagen, it's tasteless. I put it in my coffee, you can have it in water, collagen. 
And last but not least, Lear Infrared Sauna. I use a little photon light, it's a one light panel. I put it in front of the yoga mat in the morning. I have it close to my head, I have it close to my feet, and then I put it on my desk midday. Just turn it on, super easy healthcare. While you're watching TV, put it on. I don't go into an enclosed sauna, I use a near infrared single light sauna. It has been game changer for me and a huge part of my wellness program. So, you know, following all of this stuff normally prepares my body for viruses or pandemics or things like that, because I need to do that anyway, just to live in normal life. There's toxics, env environmental toxins. There are toxins in our food chain. There are so many toxins. And the harder I work at stripping away toxins, the better chance I have to live my best life. And the other thing is, is all of this stuff that I'm talking about are cellular level approaches to healing. What does that mean? That means these are targeted to my mitochondria, to my cells. So they're not root cause. They're not, they are root cause. They're not symptom management. They're not things that are in place that just mask things so I feel better enough for a day or two. They're actually changing structural changes at my, in my cells, in my body giving me the best chance and best version of me. But the number one thing, you're not gonna be able to do any of these tips unless your conversation in here is right, based on your narrative. So I encourage you all to stay tuned with me, hang out, because that is what I'm a specialist in, is the narrative, and I have identified that is number one. So my blog has a lot of information on the narrative. That's Paleo Boss Lady, so paleobosslady.com. Instagram and Facebook, you can find me at Paleo Boss Lady. I've done a ton of podcasts. You can find a lot of those on my website. I also list under members all the companies whose products really help me so that you can, you didn't have to take notes. You can just go there and check it out. A lot of them give me discount codes, which is really great for you and for me because I get to share things. And last but not least, all of this, the narrative it's a self-love lens. It's never a lens of deprivation. I live with four autoimmune diseases and I thank God every single day for every one of them. That's the narrative that keeps me the walking miracle. I hope it inspires you and stay tuned because there's many ways we can work together to help change your narrative. I believe in you and I honor you. Namaste, friends.